So both machines are alkaline water ionizers. Let's see how alkaline of water they make. We'll start with the K8. We'll turn it on. Make sure we're on the strongest alkaline drinking water setting. Rinse the glass a few times. And we'll add five drops of reagent. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we'll come over to the Vesta H2. Again, make sure we're on the strongest drinking water setting. Rinse the glass a couple of times. And we'll add five drops of reagent. One, two, three, four, five. Give them each a little stir. And as you can see, they both made a great purple alkaline water. And based on the color chart you can see on your screen, you can see that the Vesta H2 made a little bit more alkaline water. Water ionizers are also capable of producing a strong acidic water, and we're going to test that. But to be fair, we are not going to use the Enagic enhancing solution. When you do, it actually creates a toxic chlorine gas as a byproduct, which is why the manual says to only use it in a well-ventilated space. When you make a strong acidic water with the K8, you actually are making a powerful alkaline water out of the top spout, and they tell you to take the acidic water from the drain tube. That's what we're going to test. So let's fish up the acidic tube, give the glass a couple of rinses, and we're going to add five drops of reagent. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the Vesta H2. We'll go to the strongest alkaline setting and we'll fish out the acidic drain tube. We'll rinse it a couple of times. Collect a sample, then we'll add five drops of reagent. One, two, three, four, five. Give them a quick stir. And as you can see, the Vesta H2 actually made a stronger acidic water without the use of the sodium injection without making a toxic gas.